Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I've got some good news to bring everybody. Paula Flo, child rights activist, CEO of The Hitting Stops here, is free on bail. Um, if you don't know about the story, you need to listen up. This lady went to Arizona months ago to fight CPS in the machine that's killing our children, stealing them. And after six police reports, months of publicly... Uh, protesting, uh, ending outside of Joe Arpaio's office, and no police attention on children being brutalized. Paula Flo and the mother and two other ladies uh, took the child, one of the children, out of CPS custody in protection. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that Paula Flo and the other ladies were put in jail. No crime was committed. No crime was committed. Not at all. And according to the written law, the way I understand it, and the way it was presented by Paula's daughter on the live show Voice of Community last week, no crime was committed. And these four ladies are heroes in my mind. Paula Flo, it's an honor to know you, to work with you, and uh, I want to read this update for you folks. I'm going to include the links that you see in the email, and I'm going to ask you to support this effort. Um, if you need help finding you can look back on my YouTube videos, uh, radio show archives. If you need links, you can email me. But you need to know about this. And we need to get Arizona woke up and um, attack the media. The media in Arizona is just making a filthy mess out of this. And as always, only giving you a little bit of the evidence so that four ladies look like criminals. One of them is an uh, uh, Arizona legislature candidate. Yeah. And they're going to make, you know, they're going to run rampant. Those four ladies are heroes. Anyway, hi, Kevin. AZ Op is back. Uh, There's a thanks from her. Note to inform you that uh, the case regarding the support we offered in the removal of Romeo from his CPS unsafe out-of-home placement will go before the grand jury today, Monday, August 19th, uh, to which each of us has been restricted from attending. The outcome of the decision to drop the case, again, no crime was committed, or send it to trial is expected to be disclosed to us by Thursday, the 22nd. We believe you're keeping a close watch on this information will support the integrity of our, cause, our case. One Arizona media source has already published something to the fact that the four of us have problems. Uh, and I'll include that link below, folks. You can read that. Such Arizona media attention is detrimental to the cause for, the meeting, uh, for meeting the safety needs of children and youths while under the authority of government-funded employees in the state. Arizona Revised Statute 13-3620 is legislation which states that knowledgeable citizens of, of occurring child abuse who fail to take responsible action and produce a police report for the safety of such minors are subject to a felony six charge. We believe such responsibility falls, on, uh, falls all the more on the shoulders of Arizona law enforcers. For this reason, a memo has been prepared for all officers and their supervisors to whom we have been in contact. Now, for those of you that don't understand what that means, six complaints were fo uh, filed by Paula Flo and the mom in this case. The police ignored it. Ignored it. It has been found now, after the fact, after Paula and the mother and the other ladies had to act and, and remove Romo Romeo from where he was for his safety. They had to, folks. He could have been killed there. Sexually abused, traumatized, the, the works. Paula can give you all the details. She'll be glad to. Um, they, they didn't act. They were aware. The, the claims were found to be valid, folks. The claims were found to be valid by the police, but they acted months too late. Months too late. Okay? Um, let's continue on here. Sensationalized account of the actions taken by Arizona Operation Let My People Go, or AZ Op, in assisting the mother in the removal of Romeo from harmful, from harmful conditions has been published. I'll link you to that as well. Deborah Ramos uh, remains in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's Maricopa County Jail. Her bail is $250,000. Romeo's mother remains in the Pima County Jail and also needs bail bond support. The unsafe conditions of the two older sons of Miss Riley remain status quo. Uh, Deborah and Takeda's bail may be supported by friends of this cause by making a donation to parents and teachers against violence in education. Paula Flo Board member special instructions posted in the right column for proper designation for funds. Um, so I'll link you to that below as well. Um, 
to the date, the family car, which belongs to Crystal Nuttall, used in Romeo's safeguarding uh, transport, is still being held by Pima County Jail along with her cell phone and wedding ring. My cell phone was reported missing when I requested it upon being released from Sheriff Joe, Joe's jail for being transported to Pima County Jail, though it was promised to be returned to me when leaving the former jail by the arresting officer. We request that concerned citizens urge the Phoenix CBS 5 KPHO staff to conduct a full investigation of Miss Riley's case and other Arizona CPS-related child abuse and family breakup concerns, that they deliver responsible news reporting in Godspeed. Uh, and there's some links here, folks. I'm going to put these below. If you can help Paula in this effort, send an email uh, to all these people and demand that they report on this. There's a lot of children at risk. Uh, if you do some research, you'll see that Arizona is the capital of CPS destruction of children, and we must stop it. We must. Um, so, again, many thanks. Uh, I'm going to link you to Paula's website as well, and I'll put Paula's, uh, all Paula's info down there. Um, much love, folks. Many thanks. Please su support Paula. She uh, risked her freedom uh, for your children, and she will continue to do that. You saw it. We're back. <laughs> so much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.